For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff with the Mad Cheese, as always. Got a different type of video for you guys today. Today, I'm going to be going over every NCAA confirmed feature uh, that we know about, or at least that I could find preparing for this video. And I'm also going to compare it to Madden 25, because there's a lot of confirmed features for that already out. Um, but at the end of the day, I mean, I, I know a lot of people really want this game to kind of rescue them from Madden, even though it's the exact same company and it's even on the same engine. It's on the same Frostbite engine. So I'm going to go over some confirmed things, but I'm also going to compare them to see how, just how different this game is going to be from Madden 25, considering that it's coming from the same company. But before I do, if you guys want to see more videos like this as we get closer to NCAA, because I'm going to be doing NCAA content when the game comes out. If you want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be a uh, subscribe hit like button let me know in the comment section uh we're gonna go start off with um you know the trailer that dropped about a month ago which really didn't give a lot of information uh but it did kind of you know if you read between the lines or if you know what ea is trying to um say it did have a lot of things that kind of confirmed what we come to expect of uh, ea and what you're going to come to expect in, in ncaa 25 uh one of the bigger things is um customization if you watch the trailer the entire trailer he's really just um you know sewing jerseys and trying to tell you what probably the biggest difference is going to be and that's just the atmosphere of college football there really wasn't much more to it it's still football uh, i would think that there's going to be you know a lot of new uh, things on offense and defense because if you watch college football you see a lot of different defensive packages a lot of different defensive personnel packages a lot of different defensive formations on offense you see a lot of different offenses as, as well because in college not every team has a great quarterback there's just not a lot of those in the world so a lot of times you know you're going to have a lot of option offenses and rpo offenses but that's not too dissimilar for Madden right now because Madden, if you played this year, uh, RPOs kind of ran the game. So I would imagine uh, more diversity there because that's something where, um, you know, they're, they're just going to have to do that. I think you're going to see a lot of unique uh, stuff that you only see in college like spread offenses and, uh, you know, the wing T and, uh, you know, triple options are going to be more prevalent and stuff like that, which is really cool because that's one of my favorite ways to play. Um, but I think that's just going to be even better in college football than it will be in Madden. But that's not necessarily something that I have confirmed. Now, they did confirm the amount of athletes that signed on. Over 10,000 athletes have signed on to this, which I'm sure, I, mean, I think they got paid like 600 bucks, which I'm sure is cool. You know what I mean? It's like it, it, to be in a video game and get paid $600. I'm pretty sure that's the reason that they did that um, because I don't really think that there's a huge, I mean, some of the bigger name athletes I, I heard got paid way more, like the ones that they really want to get in there. Like I'm sure Shador, uh, you know, Sanders got like a huge check to be in NCAA and stuff like that. And I'm sure the legacy players that will be in Mutt um, are going to get paid obviously separately, differently, whatever. But uh, there's definitely, um, you know, you're gonna, you're really gonna get any player that you want. There's always that one, you know, exclusion though. Like if you played Madden, the only player, the only coach that wasn't really there was Bill Belichick for some reason. You know, I mean, like he didn't want to be in the in the game for whatever reason. In NCAA, it's going to be Archie Manning, who apparently opted out because he didn't want an NIL deal until he was a starter. So he's not making any money right now. I'm not really sure how that works, but I'm not too familiar with NIL deals and all that stuff anyway. But I guess he didn't want to be in there because of that. So maybe he'll get added later if he, you know, whenever that happens. Um, via updates because that's something that you know could always happen it's a it's a sports video game there's always tons of updates in mad in every game i'm sure so next up we have the amount of teams available it says at the moment there's 134 teams available which is a really nice number i'm not sure how many college football teams there are in the world but um you know these go all the way from alabama and major powerhouses like that and ohio state all the way down to you know, teams like Liberty and Appalachian State and stuff like that, that you, um, you know, gives you the full experience, which will be very interesting if there is like an online head to head mode, which I'm imagining there is. It'd be really interesting to see if you get into a game and you just randomly Alabama matched up against uh, Appalachian State. That'd be, that'd be really, would, I would imagine that would really destroy the competitive balance of online play, but I would imagine most people would be picking the best teams anyway. But that's very interesting. I don't know how many of those teams are going to be available for some 
something like that, or if it's all just going to be in dynasty mode and stuff like that, which I'll get into in a minute. But uh, but yeah, I mean those you know that's a lot of really um, you know you got to think in terms of these schools. They're probably not getting a lot out of it, the small schools. But it's probably good for recruitment to be in this game. You know what I mean? Like teams like uh, or uh, you know colleges like Alabama don't need any help. That's why they probably paid them an arm and a leg. But if you're a small school and you're in this game, it, it just helps recognition and it might help with something like that down the line. Now, one of the bigger differences in this game confirmed is that there's going to be a lot of different broadcast teams. But that's something that is actually also in the works for Madden 25. So it's different from Madden 24, but it's not going to be different from Madden 25. So some of the uh, broadcast announcers are Reese Davis, Desmond Howard, Kirk Herbstreit, David Pollock, Chris Fowler's a name that's getting floated around, and Kevin Connors uh, is also, um, he came out and said that he was going to be doing the halftime show, which is obviously a very big difference from Madden because I don't think Madden really has a halftime show, uh, which is kind of sad. But when you think of the atmosphere of college football, uh, halftime shows are probably very important. One of the biggest differences between NCAA and Madden, once again, like I said, is the atmosphere. Things like the bands, the fight songs, the marching bands, uh, the mascots are all going to be, um, you know, highlighted way more because that's the college football experience. I'm sure the crowd, they probably put more effort in the crowd, which I wouldn't be surprised. This is not something that's confirmed yet for Madden 25, but I wouldn't be surprised if they, they poured that into Madden 25 somehow because I know a lot of people complain about the crowds really just looking like they're not really doing anything, they're not reacting very well. Um, you know, same thing going back to the the audio of the announcers. It's like the hopefully it's a little fresher to the point where it's more responsive. You, I don't know how many times I've scored a one play touchdown or something, and they're still talking about the last play before I get into like the ten five yard line. And then they realize what's going on, and the crowd kicks up, and it's just really like laggy and behind what's actually happening on the field. I would imagine all of this. Um, you know, work they're putting in the announcers would solve a lot of that. So hopefully that hopefully it does. Uh, but you know, that's just something that um, you know the halftime show. I would love I would love to see if like I think it's Ohio State has that really eccentric band um, performances where like they're they're turning into like giant. Um, you know, they're just doing like a whole performance where they're like creating like uh, giant figures and stuff like that. I'll try to put up, you know, footage of that when I'm talking about it. But that is something like I would like to see if they, they go that far, if they go that in depth. That was always something that I thought was a huge um, missed opportunity in all EA games was a lack of a halftime show. Uh, an interactive halftime show would be great, too. Um, but there's definitely an emphasis on that. There's definitely going to put more emphasis on trying to have a, a, a actual, you know, halftime show create an actual uh, game day experience. Now, next up, we have the actual game modes, confirmed game modes. And this is where we're going to go right back to copy and paste for EA, par for the course. The confirmed game modes are Dynasty mode, which is essentially franchise, uh, Ultimate Team, which is essentially Mutt, and Road to Glory, which is essentially Superstar mode. That's where you create a player and then you can go through the college experience. Hopefully they put a little more effort into these modes uh, for this new game than they have in Madden in the past, which was really just copy and paste year after year. And it just really felt, um, it didn't really feel like engrossing or, you know, it didn't really feel engaging at all. Uh, where it's really just like, okay, here's this little, you know, just select this here and then move on to the next game. I mean, it really feels like they mailed it in. So hopefully since they're starting from from scratch, hopefully they'll put more effort into it. But it's the same game modes. Like I said, it's the same engine, it's the same company. I don't really think a lot of that's going to be too different aside from the teams that you get to use in these game modes. Uh, but hopefully, like I said, hopefully this is not copy and paste. Hopefully they build this from the ground up, although it's really hard to say. But uh, we'll see. As time, only time will tell. Um, there is a couple of things which... Um, you know, uniform options that are going to be different. Apparently, you can have hoodies, which apparently some college players wear hoodies, but it sounds really dangerous to me because that's something to grab if you're on offense. But I'm sure that's something that mostly defensive players do. And maybe in cold climates, I can imagine that being a good thing. But, uh, but yeah, apparently you have the option for hoodies. Uh, they're going to have new and historical uniform options, but it sounds like a lot of them are going to be microtransactions for mud or uh, maybe even, you know, I don't know if they're going to have... Um, you know, what other modes it might be available, but uh, that's something where it's, you know, that's what they do. That's what EA does. They're going to, they're going to want to, uh, if you want the coolest uniform, I'm sure it's going to cost you. You know what I mean? You'll, I'm sure you'll be able to choose uniforms if you go into a regs game or whatever. They'll always have options, but like the classic or historical ones, I'm sure you're going to have to pay for. So keep that in mind. 
Um, there's going to be uh, college bowl games, just like there always is, but it, only ones that take place in an NFL or a college stadium that they own the rights to. So if there's a game that takes place in like a baseball stadium or something like that, they don't own the rights to that, so you're not going to see that in the game. Um, there's also going to be issues with the trophies. Apparently, the only the, tr the only trophy that's going to be, um, you know, you're going to have a name rights to in this game is going to be the Heisman, which is probably the most important. I'm sure that they spent so much on that that they couldn't spend any on the, the, the smaller ones, like the Offensive Lineman of the Year, uh, you know, the Bigneric Award, the Blitnikoff Award, whatever. Those aren't going to be in there, which is kind of surprising because you see them in Mutt all the time, which means they must have, they must be paying uh, the families of these athletes. I'm not even sure if they're still alive. I think they're both dead. I'm not really sure. Fred Blitnikoff might be alive. I know Bigneric's dead. But um, yeah, they're, they're paying these guys for their name license at some point for Mutt in Madden. Uh, so I'm guessing that the rights issues there might be through college football, not necessarily, you know, through NCAA, not necessarily through uh, the players themselves. So there's obviously still a lot of holes there. So I'm going to end the video there. Let me know in the comments section what teams you guys want to use uh, when NCAA comes out. Give me some suggestions because I don't really know. I'm a, I'm a local guy. I'll probably end up using Penn State a lot. Or if Temple's in the game, I might use them every once in a while. But uh, I'm not really sure because I don't really have a, a college football team the same way I do an NFL team where I'm like, this is a straight Eagles fan. That's it. Uh, so let me know in the comments section what are going to be some good teams to use. Other than that, thanks for watching. Man, my shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.